going to be doing a products that I think need more hype or products that deserve more hype, stuff like that. Um, I asked some of you, if you, or all of you, if you wanted to see this video in a previous video and a lot of you said yes. Um, I don't think I've seen people actually do this video like beauty products that need more hype or are worth more hype. Um, it's just kind of ones that are not worth hype and that are worth the hype, not ones that don't have any hype. So. I thought I'd do this video and hopefully some of you will also do it and um, if you do do it, link it in the, um, make it a video response and I'd love to watch it. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first thing is 100% the Gosh Exceptional Wear Long Lasting Foundation. This, people don't talk about Gosh makeup enough, it is amazing. This is what it looks like, it's £7.99 um, from Superdrug and it is absolutely just amazing i use it every single day it lasts an entire day at school without powdering or anything i've got it on right now it makes my skin look flawless it's really really good and um, they've got a really really good shade range and i just love it it's really good for oily skin and also really good for um dry patches it doesn't like stick to anything and it is just great so i'd really really recommend that the next thing is the only actual high pro high end product that I have in here because obviously when you buy high end products it's normally things that have been recommended and have been hyped up. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime Transpar Transparent Finishing Powder. Now no one talks about this at all. It's um, a MAC product but I'm, not many people talk about it at all. Um, mine just looks like this and I also have the one in the loose powder form. My loose form has actually just run out and this one is like all cracked like as in I dropped it and it just smashed. So I still use it but just really really carefully so I'm not going to open it for you. But I just absolutely love this. It is amazing. It gives such a flawless finish. When you've done your makeup you just put it over the top and it just blends everything together and makes like everything look just better and it's just it's hard to explain if you haven't used it already but if you use bare minerals mineral veil it's kind of like that and it's just a really really nice powder um, a lot of people say it's comparable to the elf hd powder but i don't think that i think this is way way better so yes i really really love that um two other things this is the Lacura beauty lipstick this is by aldi the supermarket and this is in the color 108 and it's this really pretty like rose pink now i'm just going to swatch it for you and as you can see, it's just a really pretty rose pink. That is basically it. It's probably one of the most wearable lipsticks I have. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, I've used a hell of a lot of it. And it smells it smells really, really nice, actually. I really like this smell. Some people might not. But it's about $1.99, $2.99, and it's amazing. The packaging is quite good as well. Like, it's, it's quite secure. And, um... Yeah, I just absolutely love it. It's a great lipstick and I really recommend this. No one even, I mean, people talk about, like, you know, like the Vivo range at Tesco and the MUA and stuff like that, but they don't actually talk about Liqueur or Aldi. So, yes, I really recommend that. The next thing is the L'Oreal Caress um, in Tempting, 101 Tempting Lilac. Now, again, this is one of my favourite lipsticks and I've done a blog post on this, so I'll leave that down below. And it is a really creamy purple, purpley pink kind of colour. It's like a lilac and it is absolutely beautiful now i don't a lot of people seem to think that this these are hyped up but i don't think they are i think revlon lip brushes just grab all the attention and these are just left like by themselves i absolutely love these much more than the revlon lip brushes even though i, I do have a lip butter on right now but these are just really really good i wear this shade every single day and it is tempting lilac as i said and it's just really really pretty and it's a real original shade there's not many shades like this it's kind of a really nice lilac pink and yeah I really love the formula of this, it's not sticky at all, some of the lip butters I can find are quite sticky. This one isn't at all and I really really enjoy this one. The next thing is the MUA um, Mosaic Blush and the only person I know that talks about this or used to talk about it is Vuzon Boo et Belle or something like that. Um, she's stopped making videos at the moment um, because of her illness. Um, but I will leave her link down below if you don't already know her, but I'm sure most of you have already watched her. And this one is in English Road shade 3. And she used to always talk about this. And it's like a really pretty, like, mosaic blush, as, as it's called. And it's got kind of a really strange purple colour in, um, which really gives the effect of how nice it is. I've got it on today, and it's the purple gives a really, really beautiful sheen. Now, you can't see it as much, but if I just apply a bit more... It just gives 
a really pretty glow and it's a really really good blush it's about 2 99 again and uh, it's not horrible <laughs> but I'm sure we don't smell our blushes but yeah it's a really big compact as well it's 8.9 grams so it's really worth the money and I would really recommend that I really like it and the packaging of this is actually really secure the next thing is this now this is a H&M brush now no one talks about the H&M makeup brushes. I think they're really, really good. I have one of their eye brushes. I have a few of their face brushes. And the eye brush that I have is really good. It's got an angle brush on one end and a like a crease brush on the other end. And it's um like, so it's double ended and it's just a really, really great quality brush. Now this is the brush that I use for my highlighter. So I just kind of go like this. I use it with NARS Albatross and it is a really great brush. It's soft. It does that sound really weird. It's soft. Um, it like blends really really well it's no there's no fallout in it obviously i don't use it for foundation or anything but there is no fallout i have a powder brush as well and they're just really good so i'd really recommend them i just say buy h&m at the end there and um yeah they're really really great so if you're looking for affordable brushes i'd really recommend those another thing i want to mention is max factor 2000 calorie mascara now actually i've never seen an advert ever for this mascara and about an hour ago i saw it on tv they've obviously just released, an, released a new advert for it but th that mascara has been going for over 20 years and it is absolutely amazing it's probably my favorite mascara but unfortunately i don't have it with me right now because i, I try to kind of bring different things every week like from to my mum's so i've got like a different mascara this week if you get what I mean um, because I don't want to constantly bring sorry about the hair at the back of my head it's really getting on my nerves um, but so I try not to bring like the same mascara every single week I try to like switch it up a little bit um, I now just have a few skin skincare things and they're kind of all in the same category and these are Aven skincare things and this is the Aven cleansing cream this is probably my favourite face wash ever it just looks like this it's about £13 and it is amazing it stopped me getting any like spots at the moment like bright proper like you know spots <laughs> like proper you know raised red things and it's just absolutely great it's really nice on your skin it gets rid of all your makeup and it's fantastic and then the moisturizers that, that i use is this is the light hydrating moisturizer and this is the redness relief moisturizing protection protecting emulsion and I use this in the morning and I use this at night and they're a really really great combination and especially the redness one has really helped to get rid of my redness on my skin so I really really enjoy all three of these and I really think they deserve more hype the next thing I just want to talk about is gosh nail polishes again gosh um, but no one talks about gosh enough it's a really really great makeup makeup brand and um, they're really really great for like, kind of like the colours like they have like really really dark blushes for women of colour and it's just really great they're really really versatile Anyway, the nail polishes are amazing quality. They're probably the best quality nail polishes that I, I've i tried. Obviously, I've tried OPI and all that, but these are great. This one is in the colour um, Miss Minty. And whenever I wear a Miss... Uh, whenever I wear a Miss? Whenever I wear a Mint nail polish, it's always this one. And it's a really, really pretty colour. And this one here is Lavender Love. And this one was special edition. But, um, yeah, whenever I wear a lavender, it's always this. The one that's on my nails at the moment is a Barry M polish, it's a new one, it's like a denim, like it's called denim something, and it's kind of matte, which you can't really see on camera, but it's kind of matte with shimmer in it, and it's really pretty. But anyway, these are really, really great, and I really recommend those. So, that's about it really, and um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I um, I really enjoyed making it, I like to like show you products that maybe most people don't know about, and I definitely, 100% recommend this, you've got to go and try it, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that's about it really, and um, yeah, so leave your video responses to this kind of like tag, kind of, you know, whatever it is, um, down below in the video response section, and um, I'd love to watch them, and um, yeah, please comment, rate, and res oh my god, I've never said that, please comment, <laughs> comment, like, and subscribe, I haven't said that in so, so long, um, but yeah, please subscribe, and I'll speak to you all soon guys.